Hello, friends. Welcome back. All right, we're going to start this lesson with our sound chant. Here we go. And you can see the letters behind me. I'll try and move so you can watch them. I'm having a hard time pointing to them, so I won't be able to do that, but you can watch. All right, here we go. A says ah. Ah, ah, ah. B says b, 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 b. C says k. D says d, 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 d. E says e, 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 e. F says f, 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 f. G says g, 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 g. H says h, 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 h. I says i, 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 i. J says j, 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 j. K says k. L says oh, 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 oh. M says mm, 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 mm. N says mm, 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 mm. O says ah, 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 ah. P says p. Q says qu, 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 qu. R says r, 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 r. S says s. T says t, 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 t. U says ah, 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 ah. V says v, 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 v. W says w, 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 w. X says x, 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 x. Y says y, 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 y. Z says z, 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 z. All right, friends, we are ready to begin our lesson. And today, our lesson is on the lines on a writing paper. Well, Miss Beth, what do you mean, lines on a writing paper? I don't know what that is. Well, inside your box, you will find two pieces of writing paper. So I want you to look in your box and find just one, one paper that looks like this. Please get it out of your box and hold it. <clears throat> Look at your paper. Does it look like mine? Sure it does. It has this line at the top. There's a blue line, a top blue line, and it's solid. And then you have a middle line and it's dotted. See how it's kind of dotted? And then you have a baseline and it's red. Hmm, it's red. When you come to a stoplight, what does red mean? Yes, red means stop. And so that is why that's called your baseline. The base is the bottom of something. So you have your top line, your middle dotted line, and your baseline. And that baseline is where you stop. And it's actually where your letters stand or sit. So if you look at my chair, I'm gonna show you my chair. And I want you to think about the side of the chair. See how my bottom is sitting on the chair? Well, that's like the baseline, okay? Let's think of that chair where I'm sitting as the baseline. I sit there, right? Well, sometimes letters sit on that chair. Sometimes those letters hang off and we call that a tail, but usually they sit on that baseline, that red line, or they stand on that baseline. Now this is dangerous, don't do this at home. But a lot of letters stand or sit on that baseline. If I were a letter, I'd be standing on the baseline and there's space below my line and there's space above my line, but I'm standing on that red baseline, okay? Do you see that? All right, so some letters stand on the baseline, some letters sit on the baseline, and some letters have a tail that hang below the baseline. And we're gonna learn all about those letters and where they sit on the line. But before we actually learn any letters, we need to learn about the lines themselves and what they mean and where we can find them, okay? 
So as you look at your lines on your paper, your letters are going to sit in this line between the top line and the base line. So there's one line, one full line. Then there's a space, and then we have another full line where we could put letters, and a space, and another full line where we can put letters, and another space, and another full line where we can put letters. So we have one, two, three, four lines on this piece of paper that you have. Now, in my classroom, I have paper like this, and it's actual paper that you would use a pencil on. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines where we can write letters and words and sentences and stories. Okay, but it looks the same. It's just this one's a little, the lines are a little skinnier, but they still have a top line, a middle dotted line, and a red baseline. Now, I'm going to show you another, oops, piece. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Another piece. And this one, this is kind of cool because I can feel it. There's a texture to it, which will help me to remember that we have a top line, middle dotted line, baseline, and my letters will go from, some of my tall letters will go from the top line to the baseline. My short letters will go from the dotted line, the middle dotted line to the baseline. And there are a few letters that hang below the baseline, and so they'll go from the dotted line way down low, okay? And we will learn all about those, but that is what our lines look like. Now, how are we going to remember top line, middle dotted line, baseline? This is how we're going to do it. Are you ready? I want you to stand up, push in your chair. All right, and now you need to watch me, all right? And do this with me, and then I'm going to try and trick you. All right, so your top line is going to be way up high. You can't even see how high because my fingers are way up high. Okay. Top line, reach up high to your top line. And then we're gonna go all the way down to our baseline, which is going to be our toes. Top line to the baseline. Let's do it again. Top line to the baseline. Way to go. All right, now there's also a middle dotted line. And we're gonna say our middle dotted line is right here where your belly button is. Your belly button is kind of like a little dot. All right, so touch your dotted line. Now touch your baseline. Dotted line, baseline. Show me your top line. <gasps> Show me your baseline. Middle dotted line, top line, baseline. Baseline, middle dotted line. Top line, middle dotted line, baseline. All right, I'm gonna tell you to do something. Touch your baseline. Good job. All right, touch your top line. Way to go. Touch your middle dotted line. Yes, baseline. Yes, top line. Yes, baseline. Yes. All right, friends, you now know your top line, your middle dotted line, and your baseline. So tomorrow, we're all set to learn our first letter. All right, see you soon. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing every day.